All right, let's rock and roll, people. So hopefully you are all well. Um, first and foremost, if you're watching this on recording, don't forget to uh, subscribe and turn on the notification so you can get more of this awesome content. Um, today's one is going to be a really, really, really valuable um, sort of open forum to polish a product that we've got to sell for students. Um, before we get into that, though, we just want to welcome our, our few members. So everyone wave. We've got Kirsty, Abdullah, and Anne. Um, basically, guys, look, these are available for you to attend um, live or the recordings if you can't make this live time of 10 a.m. Eastern time, um, which is either daylight time or just Eastern Standard Time. Melbourne time, basically, guys, come along. They're always packed with trainers like this. Some of the, some of the highest attending or sorry, some, some of the highest achievers in the industry. Um, and with that being said, we are going to get stuck into this one. So, guys, um, if you're just joining in, which I think that is Zach at the bottom. Welcome, Zach. We're going to go through the student pack um, or the PT pack that has been built uh, by myself and my team. This is basically a done for you product that we are today going to polish. Once polished, um, we will then, we'll then be able to give it to you guys for you to flick it and sell off. Get it, get it going, get it going, get it going. Help people with it, help people with it. And it's that simple. Um, First and foremost, let's just have a little bit of an open forum q and A. I I know, Tash, you asked me a question on Messenger, which I opened this morning. Do you want to elaborate on that one a little bit? Q&A, so just general forum yeah. before we get into the student pack. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I train a husband and wife. I picked them up during um, the first lockdown. Um, and they're both, they're both overweight. Um, love them to death um one of them has narcolepsy um and so it affects his sleep and everything else um i've been training for a couple of years um and i'm starting to notice from the wife's well, having some open conversation with me because she's having they both have a mental illness they both have issues with food um but basically her partner's in denial so he used to power lift quite a few years ago back when he used to, he was first diagnosed with narcolepsy. Um, diet is really crap <laughs> to be put, put bluntly, um, which effect, affects her. Um, but we've been trying to look at ways of trying to educate them to obviously help with food that will help with narcolepsy and medication and stuff like that. She is coming out of the blocks firing. Um, I give them homework, stretches, getting them doing walks. She go, she's had issues with knees, so she goes to the pool once or twice a week. She's doing everything I'm asking of her, giving her stretches, you name it. On the other hand, the husband is basically, as far as goal setting, is doesn't really have, have anything, wants to get back to where he was five, six years ago. Obviously, as we get older, our bodies tighten up, he's less mobile, um, he quite often sleeps through a lot of the days and stuff like that. He kind of, we know the narcolepsy is a, is a problem, but it's being used a little bit more than what it's currently a problem, but it's not prepared to do things to help himself, which is in turn also stressing her, her, um, the, the wife out as well, who's working more. Yeah, it's a really tr tricky situation. She's doing what she needs to, and is you know wanting to get. Um, it's doing everything I'm asking. He, on the other hand, how do you break down those barriers? How do you use mindset to sort of try and get through to him, saying, "Look, you this is what you're wanting to do, but you're not doing the work that I am asking you to do." Anyone got any feedback with clients like that? I think for me to kickstart it, you've got to highlight that. Unfortunately. To be the old version of himself, it's not going to be as easily achievable. Mm. Mm. First thing, anyone had, ever had any clients like that that they can help Tash out with this situation? Grant, was that you, brother? I haven't had any like um, couple clients where it's like that, but I have had uh, people who didn't have a supportive partner. So the client that was putting in the effort was trying and putting in that time but they didn't have a supportive partner which was making them sort of set up to fail more or less uh and so i sat that client down and just said like you need to sit down with your partner and because they voiced all these same concerns like what you're saying that she said to you 
with me as well, where like they they're in denial and they didn't think that it was a problem and all that sort of stuff. But you've got to get the partner to sit. They've both got to sit down and have an open conversation about it. And then even yeah. potentially like not necessarily to criticize what he's doing, but get no. her to talk to him about how it's mm. affecting her and her goals and her stuff. And that way it comes across a lot less confronting yeah. in that as well. But she so comes was- to me, she comes to me because she says, she goes, I'm voicing my frustration to you because this stuff I can't talk to him about. He's just, even when she's had discussions with his specialist for narcolepsy about certain things about making changes, which she's aware of, it's basically, it's cranking a brick wall. She's not, it's not coming through from, her, he's specialist and saying look you know but yeah it's kind of she's kind of like I just don't know what I just do not know what to do so she's like kind of voicing to me so I see in confidence to me so I'm not repeating anything to to the hubby but it's just like well from a trans perspective it's just very it's frustrating I'm not I don't give up on people but it's just I don't it's where I'm worried it's going to come back and bite me because he's going to be like well she's making progress I'm not but then she's doing what I'm asking and more but you're not and he's not open. He's not open, open, open doors with me either. So he, you know, um, she's uh, even to the point where he be, he be, he she's be being jeeps, won't tell me. She'll tell me because she goes, well, he's done this and this. This is why his not collapse has gone to shit this week. But he won't even open up to me. So is there a mindset thing that I need to be looking at more with him? Do you think or? It, uh, everything is everything is always mindset. I, I think I, I want to focus. I'll just highlight this as well. Me and Zach spoke about this the other day. Like we've spoken quite a lot about this psychological training approach approach recently. Like I just want to highlight this as well, guys. Like what, what I'm not getting you guys to try and do is to do things that you need to be trained psychologists mm. to be able to do. Mm. Clients. So yeah. I want to highlight that. Like it, when I say psychological trainer, I'm, I, I just mean more take a more of a mental approach to try and give them a wavelength of what they're, they're at, what they're experiencing, so that you can help yeah. coach them through it as a personal trainer, right? Yeah. So I, it is a really tricky one, this Tash, because you've got someone who's obviously had high standards and achieved them in the past, and they've obviously then gone through some stuff which has knocked them. They've then got a partner that's achieving um, a lot of stuff. We, we can all probably relate to being having clients that uh have partners that hold them back this guy's probably got a partner who's actually outworking them or you know setting the setting the the standard he doesn't like that um and then it it may get into his own head i think what you've got to do is i would just set really 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 small goals and just make sure he Mm -hmm. achieves them and ticks them off and then paint visions like i always say about forecasting uh, forecasting forward with your clients like Mm -hmm always got to do that regardless Mm. of where anyone's at especially if they've got these again you could compare it to like a 50 kilo you know starting point and losing 50 kilos Mm. he's got his Mm. old self and his current self right Mm. this may not even be achievable because of obviously the you know the medical and health conditions Mm. but you've got to try and set those goals to forecast them ahead so that that he can obviously believe Mm. rest towards getting back there or at least close to, to getting back there, if that makes sense. Yeah, because at, at the beginning of the year, I sat down with both of them and did a goal set session with both of them just to get a bit of an idea, and which I do with all my clients anyway. And I said to my okay, this is where you want to get back to. You need to be doing, you, you know, you need to be up and moving more. You need to be stretching more. The program, I basically outlined with him back, in, back there saying, if you, this is really what you're wanting to do, this is what we need to be doing. I haven't even touched on the nutrition side or whatever, but getting more movement and that sort of thing to help regulate everything is going to be a, is going to be a bonus. If we can get that, then maybe there would have been a chance that we could then try and tweak and look at some of the food and stuff. But I've gone through this and it's he goes, yeah, I'm prepared to do it. He was looking at potentially signing up to a, a gym new um near work so he could go and do another session um on top of that um at a, at a, at a gym it hasn't come back to me saying i've joined i've asked a few times that's gone on oh that's gone on the wayside or it's an excuse and after excuse i mean well you know i've sat down and done this with him um and said look you know this is what you need to be you know, what needs to be doing this is why you're not hitting these goals this is why i'm not pushing you into that that wavelength and he was he goes oh, I was only training once a week 
with a PT five, six years ago. Well, not a ha lot's happened in the last five to six years. <laughs> yeah. um, for him to do, for there's a there's a realisation there, but he thinks that because he was doing one session a week back then, that it's still achievable now, which is, it's just not, it's just not. Oh, yeah. so I tell him, you just got to tell him that this is where you mm. sit down and you have a yeah. physical training session. There's no physical shit going on here, right? Yeah, that's what I'm them. thinking. That's what I'm thinking I need to do. Yeah. So you have to sit them down. You have to have yeah. a personal training session, right? Mm. And these are the best sessions. And just say, look, I'm not here to, to, to bash you or to tell you you can't achieve mm. these things. But look, mm. unfortunately, like even the most driven people out there, like, mm. like I have to be realistic. I can't, like, it's not maintainable to work 16 hour days sometimes, right? Mm. It's just not. It's, it's free. You've got to go, right, I've got to, like, this goal, I've got to break it. And then mm. you know it, you, you achieve it very, 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 very quickly. Mm. Have a personal training session with them, sit them down. That's all you've got to do. That's all I would personally do. And yep. them, hopefully you can start achieving them. When people start to see things ticked off, it's one of the biggest like endorphin dopamine release mm. you get, mm. right? When you achieve something, it's a sense of like, yes, like I've done that. That will then further motivate to achieve more. So that's mm. what I would say there. Anyone else want to add to that? Is that you, Grant, want to go just take yourself off mute there, please? Oh, sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yep. Just a question for you, Tash. Do you go, do you use like any kind of training journals or any diaries for your clients, particularly with the harder ones, to kind of help track their yeah. accountability? Yeah. 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 Um, I've got a similar client. He he's sing he's single, so he doesn't have the partner problem, but you know, he's his sleep patterns poor, his eating habits are poor. And mm. I've I've sat down with him plenty of times and like said to him, look, to get these results, you'd need to have eight hours of sleep. You need to be eating this or you need to be he's eating mm. better and all that. And some weeks he's better, some weeks he's worse. Mm. And um and half the half time it's because he just mm. he listens and he just goes off and does his own thing because he's like your kind, he's been in that position where, oh, but I've done this before and it's worked out fine. So what I've made him do now is like I make him track his sleep, I make him track his food, I make him track the extra exercise he does. Mm. And once a week we sit down and at least then he's got something visual to say that, right, mm. this is what we've yeah. set for you. You aren't hitting these weekly goals. Yeah. And this is why, and, you know, and it's unfortunate to blunt mm. conversation I have to have with him. It's like, this is why you're feeling like crap today because mm. you haven't done any of these that leads mm. to this. Mm. And then, you know, then I pick, take him back to the better weeks he's had, like, like, I've said to him, like, look, remember when we've done, we mm. did all this, right? Remember the goal set? Remember how well we did in your sessions that week and mm. the week before when you were mm. doing well? Mm. So mm. I try to bring it back to a positive, but also try to try to reinforce, like, look, here's where you're going yeah. wrong. Here's mm -hmm. where you have been right. Let's get you back to there. And yeah. To do that, you need to be ticking these boxes, boxes mm. on this book. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That, I know it doesn't work with everyone, but sometimes having with some of these harder players, by having those, um, details in front of him on paper mm. you can really mm. point out and you can give them that big green tick or the big red cross and yeah. sometimes that kind of helps get them through without having to bring the partners or anything back in That's, yeah yeah it, that kind of relates into what we're going to go through in this um this mm. pt pack like you can, mm. you can still give this pt pack to your clients but a more basic version mm. combined mm. with like the motivational kickstarter I know that like probably one or two or three people have done that. But like guys, the, these seminars, obviously everyone knows they're very powerful. Take what like what Grant's saying there, what other people have said, their experiences and the stuff I'm actually getting you guys or giving you guys to optionally implement into your business. If you do it, it's mm. going to greatly benefit you. You know that. This isn't just like, oh, this is a topic today and then you chuck it in the fucking bin. Take what Grant's saying there. Take what we're about to do take these things mm. and implement them because they really will mm. help your clients. They really will help your business. And that's something again, mm. like Brand saying, okay, we've got five non-negotiables here. It's eight hours of sleep. Mm. It's one of these a day. It's a two liter water mm. thing a day. And then it's going to be move and get 10,000 steps, execute 30 minutes of exercise. And then it might be like hit a protein target, right? If, if they mm. do all those things as a, as a non-negotiable, mm thing for grant mm. right mm. then that's his his non-negotiables put that into the mm. start of what we're about to go through here and then you can give that to your clients mm. as a goal 
I guarantee you every single client that hits those five non-negotiables, whether they have a bad week mm. or a bad week, they'll, they'll make progress. Mm. They will never be in a position where your guy is going to be where he beats himself up to the ground, compares himself to being pretty much an athlete in the past, and then like just gets depressed. There's no need mm. to do it. So um, this is why, guys, we're going to kind of cover. We're trying to, through these webinars and, and seminars and through me working with everyone one-on-one, -on -one, we're trying to cover all possible aspects of anything you can ever run into so that your clients get better results and we're the best PTs we can be, yeah? So that's, I think, perfectly pre-framed to get stuck into this one. But does anyone else have anything at all business-related before we jump into the PT pack for students and anyone else that wants everything for nothing? Um, does anyone have anything at all they want to discuss? Cool. All right, we're going to go for a PT pack. Um, and this one, um, again, it's been delivered in a way where, or built in a way where basically it can be amended on Canva. Uh, and then from there, let me go here. We'll go through it, right? We want to add to this as well that I want to ask you guys and, and pick your brains about it. Okay, you then can then change this the, the theme and stuff. Like, if we've just gone with something very neutral here, again, the imagery it may not be to your kind of, of liking. I mean, if I actually go through here, um, saw something before actually. If I go to there, this will be it. See this. The, the these these three here for example this might be like more super neutral for a gem pop trainer does that make sense i can't like thumbs up if it does i can't see very many people yeah so this is more of like could be more towards like this sort of theme we've gone just like a black and white but these ones here and if you scroll down there's tons of stuff on canva this is all canva um stuff so basically guys you'll be able to copy this if I clip that, it would then change the whole thing into that format. And then you just drag and drop. You can have this done within an hour and then ready to fly off the shelf, basically. So let's go here, present again, full screen. Okay, everyone can see this full screen. We're good. So this is the PT pack. Now you could rename this. You could have two of these. You could do the student pack. All right, for, or you could have the PT pack, which is basically the personal training package for everything that want, everything that somebody wants for nothing. If you ever get anybody that doesn't want everything, I might keep this chat open as well on the side if I can. Oh, okay. um, yeah, this will be in stage two. It will be in stage two, that's correct. Um, and it will be under your products, your tangible products. All right. So there's always the products will always be in the same position. Um, basically, can be used and given to anybody. Right. So we've got this is 18 pages long. So we put a lot of effort into this one, guys. So you don't have to. All right. But this is what we've got. A little welcome there. But terms and phrases, mindset, goal setting, smart goals, managing challenges, tracking your progress, nutrition, macros, protein, and then lots of training stuff here. All right. And then how to track it, core exercise, stuff like this. It continues, we get stuck into it. So basically, terms and phrases. I'm going to go through all this. Then it's open forum. So I want you guys make notes as we go through this of anything that you would recommend that you or you personally would like to add into it. All right. There's one thing that I want everyone to come together to add into this. And it's useful links and sites, YouTube channels that people that people can use, all right, and follow, all right, because this is where they can get demonstrations of exercises and all that sort of stuff, all right? So terms and phrases here, all right? We continue to go through. Mindset, goal setting. This stuff, guys, apologies if my daughter in the background. Um, this stuff here is hugely important hugely important again everything that we talk about this is where you could put in your five non-negotiables as well like you could put something along the lines of like whether you are working one-on-one -on -one with us or you've got this pt pack there are five non-negotiables one is sleep one is water one is training one is 
you know, or movement, one is protein target. Do you know what I mean? Whatever it may be. Combine that with mindset and goal setting. But again, you can expand on this, put it into your own language. This will enable you to get your clients primed. You could even put in here a link to your um, Kickstarter motivational, your motivational Kickstarter video. Has anyone actually done a Kickstarter motivational video? I'm actually going to stop and share for a second. I knew Charmaine would be the only one. Is Charmaine the only one? Is Charmaine the only one? Guys, I'm not joking. These Kickstarter motivational videos will change your freaking life in terms of your, your retention of your clients and your motivation of your clients. If you if you don't have any, uh, any retention issues in your business, that's great. But these Kickstarter motivational videos, it just gets a lot of general population guys um, engaged right from the off. Um, so yeah, I, I highly recommend doing it. Um, so goal setting. And then from here, we continue. So setting smart goals, and every, we all know what these are, right? Okay, and then managing challenges. So again, highlighting that, you know, there will likely be many challenges that you experience during your program and making progress towards your goals. Some of these challenges may come un unexpectedly, but many of them you can account for ahead of time. Like again, it's just all, it's a lot of mental work. And again, for any single person to get this, and we'll discuss price point and everything like that towards the end, it's going to be massive, right? Tracking progress. So talking about before and after photos, this is where you can, again, put your own clients before and after progress photos in here. Weight, scales, measurements, training videos, photos, right? Showing them how they can do this. This alone, guys, I think is on another little sub note. This is probably a really good tool that people will go, do you know what? Holy crap, I actually think I do need to then go back and do PT with this person. If this is what I'm going to, if this is what I can receive for, you know, a $50 price point, give it, give it a go for a while. But then after that, look, I mean, your job is done if they don't need you at all, but otherwise they're primed for coming back to you. So you show them how to, um, to do their progress tracking, their nutritional fundamentals. All right. Um, and that's that. We'll obviously go into a bit of detail. I don't need to read everything here, but you guys will get access to this. Macros. So we think, obviously, we speak a lot about nutrition here. Um, I know for a fact that I speak for 95% of my clients that macronutrient coaching is where people will eventually look to. Um, you don't have to. You can do like, you know, this amount of protein with like th this amount of fats and that amount of carbs, whatever, photographs of food, whatever you want to do. But what you do want to do is I, I think you just want to highlight the importance of what these macronutrients are. I think it's also important for people to know, you know, which I think we, we mentioned in here, like there's one to explain the maths, right? It's very mathematical um, stuff, macronutrients. Like there is nine calories per gram of fat and four per gram of carbs and protein. Therefore, people that tend to follow high fat diets and that don't hit their protein, they're going to struggle to, to get into shape. And I, I, I don't think many people would disagree with that. Um, if you hit your protein and you have a high fat diet, that's fine. I mean, that's okay. I personally don't like keto diets at all. I think they're a joke. Um, but you get what I'm saying. Break down what these things are. A lot of people might realize, oh, holy crap. Like, you know, if I have half a freaking tub of mayonnaise with my food every night, that, then that fat content, right, because it's consistently or primarily made from egg yolk, is going to bump their calories through the roof. Go into it. All right. Then we've gone into a little bit, a little bit more detail here. This here as well, guys, I'm going to highlight is well within guideline. It's within guideline. You don't need to be a dietitian here. You're not writing a plan for anybody. The only time where you need to be a qualified nutritionist or dietitian is when you're writing people plans. So this is why macronutrient coaching, I, I, there's another reason why I sort of approach it uh, or, or um, I sort of pre I preach it. So prioritizing protein, we talk about it there. We also talk about the breakdown here of how much is needed roughly okay for your body um, and then again choosing the right types of proteins we continue 
now we go into the strength training or also training rather um, and talk about progressive overload so progressively getting better obviously all this sort of stuff is going to be speaking the language of all of you guys here again the sort of rpe i mean we talk a lot about rpe i mean you need to be gauging at your personal training the rate of perceived exertion that your clients are training at if you find a lot of clients are leaving you i've spoken to this uh, recently with a lot of people it's either because number one they're just not getting results right and that can be around you not pushing them hard enough or just not delivering this sort of stuff to them that will ensure that the results that they want to get are achieved. Rate of perceived exertion comes into that point, right? You've got to make sure they're training right. Okay, so we highlight that in here. Um, okay, then we go into training fundamentals. So basically warm-ups, activations, cool-downs. Then we do a four-day split program in here as well. Because you can see again the value, the detail that's in here. Lower body focused, advanced focused, three day beginner programs, beginner lower body focused, core exercises, tracking your training, right? How to track it. This <laughs> is basically giving your whole rule book, your whole inside of your head away to someone, right? It's everything they need, right? Everything right? The best YouTube channels to follow. Now we've put some stuff in here, right? So this is where, again, we can edit it. All right. This is what we've come up with. All right. For training education, for nutrition and for mindset and motivation. All right. My personal favorite at the moment um, is this diary of a CEO. Like, is anyone, uh, I can see Sebi, you, you, you've obviously put your, your, your hand up there, whatever. Has anyone watched this diary of the CEO before? If you haven't, you're in for an absolute treat. Like I'm obsessed with it personally at the moment. All of it is fire. It is ridiculous. Probably a little bit too advanced for students, <laughs> if I'm honest. But um, I, we, had, we had to put this in here. We had to put it in here. Um, anyway, um, YouTube links. Um, and we go forward. Training for education and also nutrition. Um, podcasts. Again, we go deeper and books that will change your life. I swear if, if anyone actually executed this whole entire workbook, it, it would change their life. Like I'm talking with the links, with the books, with the, with the podcast, with the training, with the education around nutrition, with inner personal trainers guideline. Like it's, it's amazing. And again, at the end, it's not about being better than someone else. It's, a being, it's about being better than you used to be. So stop share, go, go team pinnacle. There we go. There it is. Um, guys, take yourself off mute, please. And I would like feedback. Now I don't think there's much that can be added in, but again, I want to try and strengthen it by adding some of your links that you may find useful. And let's turn this now into an open Q and A, then we can polish this and then you can take it, change the theme. Um, I think you may need Canva Pro if you want to go in hard and, and edit this with, with different themes. And guys, you're going to make the money back like this, right? So we'll talk price point in a second. But feedback, let's go. Let's get into it. Charmaine. Can I just ask, I don't know whether you can hear me because I've got ears in. I hear you perfectly, yes. Okay, good. Um, what did you type in for that format? Oh, to look like that find the format yeah so you know you in canva you can type in um like a different format oh, yeah, um, as cool. in like a template yeah. a uh, would have been that muscle strength one which and one? you've obviously this adapted it oh this yeah uh, i'm not too sure i might have to find out i'll find out yeah. On top of that, um, I don't know whether I saw the calorie calculator. Do you think we could put a link in for that for them? Uh, yeah, 100%. Definitely. Yeah. There you go. So type in fitness, muscle and strength comes up straight away. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, I would go like... Um, another thing I probably saw that we could probably add to the terms is 
something for banded exercises too, because if we are talking to students and that, we're talking, you want um, progressive overload, give them banded exercise to begin with, and we can work them way up. So get them, put that terminology in as well. Okay, let's can we, let's write these guys in the notes and then we'll talk about them because we'll implement all of these in. And again, the idea is to give you a polished version that you don't even need to touch. That's the idea here. Like want to do all the work for you, right? Me and the guys can do it. And then from there, you just take it. Um, so yeah, that's the Charmaine. That's your template question answered. And then back, when you say banded exercises, Grant, yeah? Yeah, I'm just also thinking like because when people first started, bands are usually a good place to start. And you yeah, we've I'm sure you had all, if you had everything there for the general gym goer. Yeah. But you know, some people may not even go to the gym, so bands are usually a good way to <laughs> put addition, okay. and they're cheap as well. So if we're talking to students, that might be something they already have on hand. Okay, so I'm just typing for you, right? So starting level body, uh, body weight exercises and band exercises that would be for real starters. Um, I think, yeah, the, the calorie calculator link for people to get stuck to the calories if they need to. Like, personally, for me, <clears throat> let's see if I can get this one. Um, what is it called? I've got one. Well, what do you use? Is it, is it a BMR calculator or something like it that? It is. Oh, I totally forgot I wasn't on mute. <laughs> right. It's calculator.net that I use. That's, exactly That's the one I use too. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Is the one you use yeah 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 this is the best one so i would personally chuck a link into that and then you can again if it, look it depends how hard you want to go right like for me again guys this is really important you do it once it is done you do this once it is done that is it i i personally i'd put a day into this this was well i know that the team we, we put a lot of time into doing that right so I personally put a day into this and then you literally bulletproof it to make this the best thing that these guys would ever take away. And it, it's that simple. So you could go, um, here is a link where you can work out what you need calorie wise and to calculate your protein target. But here is also a video of me showing you how to do it. So then you go, Hey guys, if you're watching the PT pack or if you're watching the student session pack then, or the student pack, then this is what you do. You put in your age, blah, 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 spit it out. So, um, that's that stuff. Okay, so TD, so Zach's got his on there as well. So TDE, calculator.net, Tane, um, eatthismuch.com. So that's generic generic meal plans and calories. Um, you put perfect. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Would it be worth like put like a little grid at the end so we can so we can get our clients to say um, put their weights, their measurements, that in there for help the tracker just to get them started, give them an example. That's hundred percent. That yeah, so you could put like a tracker table, right, with weight, measurements, right, in centimeters, and you could do it like weekly format, right? right? And you can do that for 12 weeks, right? Now, this, um, this is a perfect time to chuck this in, guys. The reason why giving all of this away to someone in a document, right, that they'll pay for, and we'll again, we'll discuss the price. And this is the sort of like, it's not a nasty side of me at all, it's just the truth. It will never be followed. So what it gets people to realize is, I've got every single thing that I need here, and I still can't get results. So therefore I need to work with someone. I, this is This someone has given me every single thing, right? It will never be used. I just, I just guarantee it. Like students would be the more likely to use it because they're younger and they actually have a bit of go about them and they legitimately don't have funds and they love stuff like this, right? Because they can absorb, they're in, they're in an educational mindset, right? They're students, they absorb stuff. But apart from that, if, like if, if you get anybody who wants stuff for free, just, just say, do you know what? I have every single thing that you will ever need to get into shape. It's 50 bucks. Do you want it? No. Okay, bye. I, I can't help you. If they say yes, so here it is. Cool. And you could, like, I mean, this sort of stuff, digital formats, probably best. Just say, what's your email address? $50, bank transfer it right there and then, and then form. But again, we'll talk price point in a second. Um, you pack it full of everything, guys. Um, and then um, from there, it, it's ready to go. Um, legalities on the last page. Um, Suzanne, if you don't mind, come off mute. Always great to hear from you. 
Um, what do you mean with the legalities? What, what can you share with the guys? Uh, just, it's always, um, they said it's always smart to just put at the end, like, um, you know, this is not medical advice, that type of thing, just, just like, to cover our own butts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, My daughter's a lawyer and she'll always tell you, cover your butt, mom. Yeah, so. 100%. So it's a, basically a disclaimer. This is not um, not medical advice. Yeah, and medical advice or training advice. Right. Please approach training. Right. It's always it's always like ask your physician before you get started. Yeah, that's right. That's that right. type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Ask your doctor before um, proceeding. Right. With any training. Right. Always uh, train safely. Right. With a training partner. Right. Etc. That any nutritional I, help is given within the within the um, scope of practice as per blah 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 blah. Say again, sorry. So we can also write like any nutritional help in this booklet is as per yeah, um, the Australian Dietary Health Lines. Yeah. It's just say any nutritional, like any, so I'll write it down. So any nutritional information, right, which is not, oh, I just barely interested in is general in nature and you should always confide in professional before So any nutritional information, any nutritional information is general in nature and you should always confide in a professional if you have any questions about implementation of the information provided. There you go. Okay. Uh, we've got some good stuff here like at home equipment basics that we can use at home. Um, and that's it. That, that's great. I like that one. So you can do at home stuff, right? Stuff with minimal amounts of um, minimal people with minimal amounts of, of, of equipment. Um, anything else, guys, that you want to chuck in? Like, this is really, really good here. Like, and this is the whole point of today's webinar is to build this to be absolutely solid. Maybe the chat. I, saw... I think, sorry about that. I think I saw, uh, put something like at the end too, that if you need any more information or help, you know, and put it right back to you. Like, yeah, like your that's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. Same as Jack. So, Last page, scan the QR code or click the link below. If you would like to connect with your trainer who has provided you with this resource for any future education or training, right? You want to obviously give them an give them an out and a way for you to, to, a way to contact you. So you can put a QR code on there, um, but I would also just put underneath that just a link to it because most people you don't really want to be printing these out, right? You know what I mean. I'm, it's, it's going to be by the end of, of all this stuff goes in there's 20 plus pages but you can have to it, it would be great but i mean if you if you have them and it's uh, more physical um you're just going to have to pay to get them printed and that's going to put the price up but it is something tangible so then yeah if it's something tangible they can scan a qr code if not digital just click the link so that's that shamane you were going to say as well is that the same thing no, um, do you think it's worth, I think we touched on this for a couple of weeks ago, or if, if it's out of our scope for protein, carbohydrates and fat, maybe have like approximate amounts they could be having because I get a lot of questions from clients. Okay, I need to have chicken breast, but how much do I have? Is it 50 grams? Is it 100 grams, 150? Maybe have like approximates or something like that. 
I would put down a breakdown of what 170 or 170 grams per day of protein looks like. Mm. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like a gram of protein is not a gram of chicken. That's a yeah, really heaps of people get confused by that. <laughs> so that that's a great one. And so it gives people an idea because again, some people instantly if they look at that and go, Well, holy crap, I'm not I'm not eating my protein. I'm not. Like I don't really like whether you guys if I go like a week without eat, like hitting my protein target, you I feel it different. Like I feel it instantly. You literally feel like your muscles aren't as full, you feel less, you don't feel as strong, you can feel yourself not being in, in, in this peak condition as you can be. So um, that will highlight what these guys really need. So that's good. Um, anything else? Otherwise we'll discuss price points soon. This is becoming very, very, very complete though. All right, price point. Again, you can have students, you can have people that just want this instead of PT. But what do you, what do you recommend? Price point. $99. Say again. Ninety-nine dollars. Okay, cool. Ninety-nine dollars. Anyone else? Just can you up. can you just uh, leave it and then you we each, you know, put whatever we want. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna brand this guy. So it's up to you. Okay. Using the price, so I'm not gonna put this like ninety nine dollars on it. I'm not gonna do that. But I want to discuss with you guys the price point because you're all gonna sell it for different amounts, right? Exactly. Um, so, like for example, a student they ain't gonna pay a hundred bucks for this. There's no way. Like for fifty for students, ninety nine for everybody else. Say again. Fifty for students, ninety nine for everyone else. To do that, I'd even go as low as nineteen dollars ninety nine for students. The, the, the reason why, like some of you be going, fuck that, Simon, I'm not doing all this work for 20 bucks. When you compound this over like years, $20, right? Like if you do a hundred of them, it's 2000 bucks for doing nothing, basically. You need to, like, it's something there as a resource, you know? But then again, for people that are more committed that can't afford one session, so per week, I think the base level cost of this for an adult, excuse me, would be the price of one session per week, but it's a once-off payment and that's it. Like, and if they can't afford $50, literally guys, again, go into that sort of darker place. It's not a dark place on me, it's just the fucking truth because I can't stand the way that people believe excuses these days. If, if someone says they, they can't afford $50 once off, this is exactly why we're using a product like this to get them in and to get them out of your way very quickly. Not because we're only focused on selling stuff to people. It's because you, I don't want you guys to be surrounded by constant fucking excuses. That's all it is. I get it these days. I get it. I have people come to me and say, Simon, I need you to make me $2,000 reoccurring weekly in the next two weeks, and I'll give you 500 bucks for that. Are you kidding me? I'm not joking. That's like a legitimate thing that I, that I get. Are you, like, are you kidding? You want me to make you $100,000 a year for 500 bucks? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's kind of reasonable, right? You're, you said you can do it in your videos, <laughs> but that's an example. Like you're, you, guys, you guys will be getting the same sort of rubbish from people, but just know any single time someone says that they can't afford it, a lot of the time it is because they're trying to bargain with PTs that they just don't respect and they just look at as a, as a, as a shit industry or as a, as a shit profession. You know what I mean? I hate that. That's just my passion talking, but most people think that PTs just are just a waste of space. And I'm here to make sure that you guys are put on the map and not treated like that. Uh, anyway, I went on a ramble and a rant then, but um, let's get back on track. Uh, how much do you reckon? Tane, what do you reckon? Um, yeah, I'd probably be around that sort of $100, $100 mark, somewhere around there. 
hundred percent. I think you should always believe in what you believe in what you're offering here. Believe in obviously you've seen the base level quality and the, the content of what's being offered here, guys. I, I really don't think you should go like too cheap. Um, I mean, me saying 20 bucks, I mean, you, you're going to get like every excuse under the sun. I mean, the lower the price you go, you're still going to say people can't afford it. I'm not joking. You could say 4.99 and people would be like, sorry, man. Like, <laughs> right. So it just shows lack of low level of priority. And so that's where you start to understand that it's not a lack of money. It's just low level of priority. Sorry, I can't afford five bucks, but then they go put five bucks in the machine and get a pre-workout. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, and so look, stick true to what you ever, whatever you want to do in terms of cost. But um, yeah, I think a hundred dollars worth of value here is, is definitely, um, is definitely doable. Uh, I, I would like to say ideally a hundred or as close to it. Your one session offering, so you know, 60 to a hundred, I would definitely put as a price point for this. Um, yeah, I would say that's, that's pretty much it. Anything else at all that anyone wants to add in? Because this one was always going to be relatively or shorter than the hour mark. Um, and that's that's pretty much what we've got here. Um, does everyone like the look of it? Anything else that anyone wants to add into it? Like this will be available as I've put in there, guys, on the check-in or as a, yeah, I did part of the check-in form on Monday. This will be available and downloadable, um, both editable and non-editable i think i'll just upload maybe mm. a button where you can take the existing version by the end of this week it will be done on the portal in stage two um a reminder as well for you guys live that the, the end of week check-ins are now done on fridays because of people in the the uk and the us and europe because they're receiving them on wednesdays so end of week check-ins are now fridays guys just a bit of a reminder there that's not really a change but, um, okay. um, and, and thank you, Sue. So think, thanks. You said this is a great asset. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, anything else about anything, guys, at all? At all about anything? You've got me. I'm literally here. 10 minutes of a about time. So with this package, would we do the price presentation of our normal PTs and that, of our normal packages and that sort of thing? And then if there was like money as the objection, just bring this one up? Or would you... Yeah, it's a great question. Um, basically... What I would probably say, so how to sell it, right? So I'd say, look, this is what we've got, um, but I would, there's, there's two ways. You've got students and then you've got normal people, right? So with the students, what I would probably say is this. I'd say, look, if PT is, is like, is PT something that you would like to do or you, you'd be able to accommodate? Because obviously there's, there's a price attached to it and most students, they don't have the budget for PT. Would I, would, would I be right in saying that about yourself too? Just be honest. There's nothing wrong with saying that. You're being honest, right? You can say, I've, I've been a student myself too, right? Blah, blah, blah. Just say, look, I've got everything that we offer and it comes in a, in a document. It's 22 pages. It's nutrition. It's this, 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 and this. Cost is X, Y, Z, right? So you've told me that it's 10 out of 10 priority that you want to get better. I recommend that for you. It's either that or one session a week, which is best. You can sell it like that or you can show people the um the gold the silver you can run through your normal price presentation but then from there i would say look if if budget is an issue because they'll say i can't afford person this is i can't afford pt and just say well how about if i gave you every single thing that you would ever need and it was less than any of this here and it's just a once-off payment would that suit you better and they'll probably still say well, sorry i don't have the money for it which just basically means it's not a priority but i i, I think most of you guys, without sounding too horrible, I, th I think Tana, you could sell this with ease. You'd know what to say. Um, but yeah, I would just use it at the end of a presentation. Just say, look, we do have an alternative where we give you everything that you can do yourself, training, nutrition, everything. Links to videos, podcasts, motivational effort, like motiva motivational education and much more. And it's 80 bucks. It's a one-off cost, which is best for you. Gold, silver, or the one-off. But I wouldn't, push this once off as like a product because people will just go for the once off. They'll just, they'll, they'll take it and they'll basically say, yeah, I'll pay 80 bucks for that. And because of how valuable it is, they will actually do quite well if they were to execute it. So remember, never prioritize this more than gold and silvers. This is just a verbal um, 
drop as someone who says they don't have money. And that's it. Cool. Another question then, what would be your thoughts on, so I just had a thought then about when clients in that cancel with us, having this as a product to give them as like a leaving gift so that they continue to train and it's like, okay, so now that you're not going to be here training with us in person, um, give it to them as like a, like here's a structure, very similar to like what we've followed throughout your training. What's your thoughts about that? Yeah, that's a really good point, bro. I, I think like leaving gifts, not too sure because like, again, you could do if you wanted to, like leave it. You could, again, once this is done, right? It's done. So you can, you, can, you can give it away. Um, people that leave you, though, they're, they're never following it. Do you know what I mean? They're never following it. And, I mean, these people, um, look, again, the gesture might go down really well. Um, and, again, like we've, we've talked about over the last few weeks, a lot of you guys, it's really, really heartwarming for me to hear that you're having a lot of returning clients. It shows that you're welcoming them with open arms and then, you know, letting them leave with open arms. Therefore, they're coming back again. So you could, if you, if you wanted to, give that away, brother. A hundred percent, you can give it away. I definitely wouldn't try and charge them um, as they were leaving. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, you again, you could have a stripped back version, which is really basic. But it's it's like this. So I'll give you my point of view. Like with stage three point one at the moment, I'm giving people access to this, right? Once I give people access to stage 3.1, which is organic marketing, what happens is people go, I want to run this, 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 and this. Very, very clearly, it states at the top, do not rush ahead with this marketing. There are people on this webinar right now that I'm communicating this with in the messages, right? You don't rush ahead. If you were to give this the equivalent, if you gave this like as a beginner welcome document, you do like a 10-page or a five-page shortened version to a new client they're gonna they're gonna have all these questions about this this right and it would distract them from from the focus that you want to um have them focused on at the start of their journey time if that makes sense that's my experience by giving people access to multiple strategies people are like i want to i want to run this this and this and this or i've already ran that and it's ruined you know what i mean or i, I went off the basic off the basis of um you know those macros and it didn't work. I gained weight this month. Well, I didn't tell you to follow it. Do you know what I mean? So you've got to be careful with um, giving this away at the start, if that makes sense, Tommy, because you might want to individually coach them different to what the one size fits all document does. Yeah. Cool. Um, anything else? All good, Charmaine there. No worries. Love it. Uh, anything else? We good? We're good. All right, we'll make some changes, guys, and uh, we'll upload it. We'll have it done. It'll be uploaded this week for you. And uh, anyone else who hasn't heard from me on Boxer, I will be in touch today. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, guys. Let's go.